Hi everyone, it's Julie from Sprouts and Stems here. In today's video, hair's looking a little crazy, whatever. Today's video, I'm gonna be decorating a pot. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more planty, crafty DIY projects like this. I also do plant care and propagation videos and then just kind of random plant things here and there, like my most recent video was my spring plant tour. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. I just took a vacation to Charleston. At the time I'm posting this, it's probably gonna be about two weeks ago that I came back, but I was just feeling super inspired by the, it's a very green city. It's a very like a lush, plants everywhere, beautiful greenery, bright colors in the buildings. I'm I'm just feeling like inspired by all that cutesy stuff right now. I almost bought like six pots to paint in all different fun colors, but I'm like, we're just gonna start with one, okay? We gotta chill. But I did buy, I didn't buy a bunch of pots, but I bought a bunch of colors because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do, and then one more, this one, and then just some white for like mixing. I think today I'm gonna go with like a palish, greenish, yellowish, because what we're gonna do on top of just painting the pot is a little bit of decoupage. I saw this stick on wallpaper on actually on Amazon. I already cut it, that's why it's kind of weird. After the pot is painted, I'll be sticking it on, but then just for some extra like security, just to get a, make sure everything is like attached to the pot, I'm gonna decoupage over it with a little, oh, it's all the way on the other side of the table, with a little Mod Podge. Also, side note, literally for my entire life, I've been calling this Mod Podge. I just, I just like actually looked at the label, I guess for the first time ever, and it's Mod Podge. So, yeah. Do you ever just realize something and then you're like, my life is a lie? That's kind of how I feel right now. So what I'm going to do first is just mix up my paint color. I did pre-mix a few things just like experiment. Oh, I need to not get paint on this. I was experimenting a little bit earlier. I was thinking maybe like a salmon color might be nice and I would have added a little bit more orange to make it more of like a peachy salmon color. But I don't know, I think I will, if this project in general turns out well, I definitely will do more pots like this and I'll probably do like a salmon slash coral colored one and then like a few other colors, but I think I'm gonna go for this sort of color. So that's all dry. I just need to mix myself a little bit more. I have, hold on, I need to actually, before I get too far in, I need to like, prop you guys up where you can actually see everything. So hold on one second. Okay, I've got you very like precariously perched, so please don't fall. <laughs> anyway, this is what I have. So I have this pot, just basic, basic pot, has a drainage hole. It's a uh, like ceramic. I have various paintbrushes that I was thinking about using. I have Mod Podge, which sounds so weird now. I feel like it should be Mod Podge. Can't all have what we want. Can't win them all. I have various bright colors of acrylic paint. I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning, but I'm cutting out pieces of the stick on wallpaper. Like I'm, I'm not just gonna cover the entire pot in wallpaper. So I've already cut out a few pieces like this butterfly. I'll flip it right side up when I do this part, but this butterfly, some floral things, a little bit more here that I'll, I have to finish cutting out. 
which I'll do as this is drying. Okay, so I'm gonna start mixing the paint. I'm gonna start with some green. So I'm gonna start with this and then I'll mix in some white. And we'll just go until we get a good color. Guys, am I like literally Bob Ross right now? All right, that is still pretty green, but getting closer to my vision, white. I was thinking it'd be a little dark or a lighter, but I'm just gonna try this for now and see what it looks like. On, oops. <laughs> see what it looks like on here, and then we can readjust if needed. Okay, well, let's see. Moment of truth. Okay definitely looks a lot more yellow-ish on this pot, but I don't, I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset. And I think it, it also looks a lot more yellow on camera. It's not, it's not that yellow, but in person, like it's definitely it's definitely more yellow on the pot than it is on the plate, but it still leans more toward green. Whereas what I'm seeing in the screen right now, I don't know what it's gonna look like when I watch this back, but um, on the screen it looks very yellow, but you get what I'm saying. Oh my God, is my vision already coming to life? I think the answer is yes. So what kind of pots do you guys prefer for your plants? Like, are you all about cash pots or even if, even if it's not like technically a cash pot, just like prettier or decorated colorful pots? Or do you really prefer earthy, like terracotta, um, what else is there aside from terracotta? <laughs> cement, I guess. I guess some people do cement pots. Because my whole thing with my apartment that I just moved out of was I had a lot of... Actually, I had a pretty even, in terms of decor and furniture and stuff, I had a pretty even mixture of pots of color and neutral earthy things. And I really liked that look for my plants too. Like the plants were the pop of color and the pots were the earthy neutral. But now I'm just like, no, I want color all the time, everywhere. Okay, so I think for the most part, oh, that part's a little, um, eh. ah, I made it worse. For the most part, I've got it all one nice initial even coat, except for what I just messed up. Now, I think I'm going to let this dry, do one more coat a little bit later. As I'm waiting, I'm going to cut this out. I'm not gonna do that on camera just cause it's not interesting, but I think I'm gonna do one more coat once this dries and I might even try to lighten it up a bit more with more white. So we'll see, but I'll be back in a little bit once this is all dry and second coat is good to go. Hello friends. So it is the next day I decided just to do one more coat of paint and then put it down and then I just cut out some of the uh, 
some of these leaves and whatnot just in front of the TV. Maybe or maybe not with a little glass of whiny wine on a Friday night. So anyway, it's now Saturday and we will finish off this planty craft. I'm really happy with the color. I know like the, the paint job isn't like the best. I don't know. I'm not really concerned with that. I think it's even though it's a crazy color, like the texture is kind of a natural texture and that's fine. So yeah, I had, so I had the first coat, which I did on camera. And then I took the current color that I had on my plate and just put a little bit more white in it. Cause I did want it to be like a little bit lighter. And now I think this is, this is, uh, I'm happy with this. So I'm not quite sure if I want to use all these pieces. I cut out this little flower piece. This, definitely got to use this somehow. And then butterflies, obviously, we'll be using because look at them. I cut out a little bee. I don't know. He's kind of... He's kind of small and random, but we'll see. And then I have this flower piece, which is on the edge of the uh, roll of paper. So it's kind of like awkwardly cut, but I figure maybe I'll do like a, maybe, maybe, yeah. Also, you don't need stick on wallpaper. You can do this with a lot of different uh materials magazines if you have like a home and garden magazine that would probably have some pretty floral things to cut out i just am using the stick on wallpaper literally because i like the design but like if this was just say if it was just like wrapping paper like a roll and it wasn't sticky a roll of wrapping paper i would still use this so I just want to clarify that, but I will be linking to this in the description in case you also like the pattern. It also came with a lot too. I think I, I think I got like the smallest size roll that they have and it came with a lot. So I'm definitely going to do more crafts. All right. So I think I'm going to... Start with this, and of course, I will turn it around in just a second after I do the initial sticking. So, if you didn't use a material that was already sticky, like if you just use regular paper, obviously you'd want to glue it down first, but this is sticky, so I don't need to glue it down first. I'm just gonna mod podge over the top of it to make it all secure. My allergies are a little, little itchy today. Look at this, I love it. I'm gonna, do I want to fold it down? Maybe I'll do that and then like also glue it down on the inside. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I'm obsessed. So I just did two more pieces. Love. Literally love. This, I'm going to do like a butterfly or bee here. So it's not just like a random thing, but I did really like this and thought it was pretty. So I wanted to include it. And then this, and then I I guess there kind of needs to be something there. But I don't know if I... I don't think this guy really matches the vibe now that I'm... Maybe this one... I kind of like that down there. Okay, we'll do that. Gotta make a decision.
Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's a first try. This one is too, definitely we'll use him for something like another pot because I'm also definitely doing more of these. But he's a little bit too like big and jarring. You know what I mean? Okay. Do I want the bee like right there? Okay, right, gonna finalize this B situation and then I'll show you. Okay, so I put some of this in here just to make it easier to <clears throat> the paint, get the uh, paintbrush, I mean. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the final placement. I really love this piece. This piece, now that I have it on, it feels a little bit random but that's uh that's okay it's still pretty i think so this is perfect now i'm just going to really make sure this is all secure by just going over the entire thing with mod podge this dries clear so don't um freak out if you use this and it's white because it will dry clear. And for the most part, it'll make sure everything is like sticking to the uh, pot and it'll give it kind of like one solid consistency is the word maybe basically it'll help it to look more like it was meant to be on this pot as opposed to just I took some paper and glued it onto a pot super happy with this so now I'm going to say temporarily goodbye again so I can let this dry and then I'll come back. I'll find a plant to stick in here for the final shot. And yeah, I will show you everything all dry and final product. So once again, let me just flip you around to here so you can see the whole thing. I will see you guys in a little bit. So here is the final result upstairs on this one little plant table I have here. I think it looks really, sorry, I'm like showing you the rest of the plants. I think it looks really pretty on this table with its friends and definitely want to do more of these. I'm really happy with how it came out. Here's what it looks like. And I will turn it around so you can see all sides. This was the one part that I was kind of like, eh, iffy on, like, did it come out okay? Does it just look weird? But I think overall it looks nice. Uh oh. There we go. So that's it for today's project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thought it was fun. I definitely want to do more. I really like this look. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye.